Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We've got a great presentation today. My name is Pramil Charyat. I'm a program director, internal medicine residency program, transitional residency program, and I teach medical students and medical residents. And I'm also um, a director of research, and I hold a two assistant professorship at two major medical schools. So let's get into our subject. All our topic is going to be under nine minutes, okay? Rapid review in nine minutes with very, very important points. And repetition is the key. So please come back and listen to the presentation again. Rather then we thought giving an hour long presentation, we thought give like a nine minute precise presentation with the known facts you can remember um, that is the whole purpose of presentation. So repetition is the key. So let's start our presentation today. It's about Epstein-Barr virus or HHV4. Um, so introduction, Epstein-Barr virus, like it belonged to the human herpes viridae, HHV4 family. It could be sometimes asymptomatic um, and especially like uh, sometimes in the adolescent and the adult. There's two strains associated with it based on the EBNNA gene sequence. One is uh, two life cycles like a lytic phase and a latent cycle is there. In the lytic phase occurs in the oral epithelial cells and circulating B cells at the time of primary, inf primary infection. In the latent circle, there is switch to latent infection occurs when lytic genes are silenced by chromatinization. So if you look at the virion structure, it's a pretty much uh, similar structure, just like other herpes viridae uh, family. There's a core that consists of single linear DNS DNA, uh, and then you got a capsid surrounding the core, which is the icosidal capsid with a 100 nanometer diameter constructor of 162 capsomeres. And the next one out that is like a tegument, it's like a viral, it consists of viral, en uh, viral enzymes which need to take control of the cell's chemical process and somewhat subvert them to virion production. And then you have the envelope outside, is the outer layer of the virion composed of like altered host membrane and does a unique viral glycoprotein. That's where you can have like short spikes also seen. You look at the epidemiology, greater than 90% of the adults worldwide are infected with EB virus. In, the, in industrial, uh, industrialized nations, about 50% of the population acquire primary EB infection at age 1 to 5 years. Another large proportion of population acquires primary infection by age 20, so a large number of people are usually affected. Okay? In developing nations, most occur infections in the early childhood. So what are the risk factors for uh, developing EBV infection? Insufficient hand hygiene is the number one, um, or cough fatigue, and um, sharing uh, utensil, drinking glasses, or sharing the toothbrush. Residents develop in developing nation like overcrowding, where uh, there's a um, exchange of saliva, kissing, and those kind of things, okay? Transmission, primary means of transmission is by saliva, and in the oropharyngeal secretions, and the degree of contact appears to play like a role in the transmission mission, like your causes, household contact may be sufficient though, and a more intimate contact, sharing utensils, drinking glasses, using the same, same toothbrush, and virus also in the, where is commonly transplanted, I mean it transmitted in the transplantation in the blood, even though blood is like very rare. So let's look at the pathogenesis. What is the pathophysiology? First, EBV infects the oral epithelial cells by direct fusion and initiate the lytic replication. Okay, that's the first step. And then then virus is detected in the oral cavity about a week prior to the symptoms onset, peaks at about two months and may persist over one year, and then EBV may switch to latency program in epithelial cell, which can lead to nasopharyngeal carcinoma or gastric syndrome, which is one of the deadliest complications of EBV. And the EBV infect the B cells in the tonsillar crypts by endocytosis. Again, as latency is established between 1 and 50 per 100,000 B cells are infected. And the latency infected B cell replicate slowly and recirculate between the oropharynx and the periphery. Okay, so those are the pathogenesis. And what are the signs and symptoms? You know, most, some of the people like it remain asymptomatic. So let's look at what are the symptoms. So you have a classic triad. Fever, pharyngitis, and cervical lymphadenopathy is the uh, most common classic triad of symptoms. Additionally, like fatigue, anorexia, headache, myalgia, and upper respiratory symptoms, palatal, uh, palatal fatigue, and abdominal pain, okay? And um, other signs and symptoms, I mean, uh, EBV around 0.5% to 2% of malignancies like nationwide, it can cause like uh, um, post-transplant lymphoproliferative disease, Burkitt lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, gastric carcinoma. So in this, Burkitt lymphoma is like very closely associated with it, okay? Remember that. 
So the diagnosis, uh, testing may be considered in patients with infection mononucleosis. Like you don't need to do the testing, but let's say there were transplantation donors, recipients, or monitoring at-risk patient post-transplantation, or um, immunocompromised patient, then you may need to be uh, tested for this. The main thing we do is like atrophilic antibody tests, people usually call it monospore tests, and then you got EBV serological panelists there, EBV viral load testing can be done by PCR, and then EBER in C2 hybridization, those are the four tests you can do. So let's look at the sensitivity and specificity of each one. First one in the heterophilic antibody test, you got sensitivity is around 87%, specificity of 91%. Heterophilic antibody means like heterogeneous group of mainly IgM antibodies produced response to acute EBV infection. Remember, it's like IgM antibodies. And look at the sensitivity and specificity, pretty high, 87 to 91%. Let's look at the EBV specific serology. IgM to viral capsid antigen, IgG to VCA, and an IgG to early antigen. Those are the three EBV specific serologies and specificity and sensitivity extremely high, my friends, 97 to 94 percent. And then PCR test is all, that's a real polymerase, uh, poly, real time polymerase chain reaction assay. You can high titers so of EBV DNA can be detected in plasma and serum of the patient with the primary acute infection. Okay, in patient with infection mononucleus, circulating virus peaks about two weeks after infection. Remember that, it peaks after two weeks after infection. In the sensitivity is 75% and specificity of the PCR test is 95%. And then of course you can do in situ hybridization ISA that is sensitivity is high, 94%, specificity is a little bit low, 69%, okay? So what is the treatment? Mainly like supportive therapy, going to bed early, sleeping for a longer period, um, general guidelines, taking more frequent break, avoiding uh, physical exertion, contact sport, light like is a big topic, we'll talk about it later. You know, when you have infection, you want to stay away from contact sports for a while. Take medication for your sore throat and fever and drinking plenty of water, okay? So currently, no antiviral treatments or uh, medications are approved by treatment for EB infection. And um, several demonstrate like in vitro activities, again, like face infection, including a cyclovir, valcyclovir, famcyclovir, and gancyclovir, and its derivative valgancyclovir, okay? So, efficacy of antiviral medication infection with EBV is likely active vary. In, in infection mononuclease, acyclovir has been shown reduce viral shredding but not to consistently reduce severity or duration of the symptoms. So, in treatment of EBV, associated malignancy is typically specific to that type of malignancy, okay, especially like Burkitt lymphoma and all that. So the complications, um, in rare cases, it can lead to ruptured spleen, anemia, pharyngitis, airway obstruction, and low platelet count. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.